the concept of inputs and outputs input means to take outputs means to give so that said my Arduino board with the microcontroller here and my 14 digital outputs inputs and outputs I can configure my Arduino whether I would want one of these pins to act as an input or act as an output. I can configure that and that I'll be discussing in the next slide. But a few basic terms. In digital it means that it can take only two values 0 or 1. Bit 0 or bit 1. 0 typically means 0 volts. 1 could mean 3.3 .3 volts or 5 volts depending on the configuration of your Arduino board. However, in terms of current, we need to understand that 0 means I am sinking current and 1 means I am sourcing Sinking means I am drinking, sourcing means I am giving. So again please understand this. This is from the perspective of outputs that when my Arduino board gives a zero or I want to give zero as an output at that time I am actually drinking current or I am taking current in again this is current please understand that that I am taking current in and when my Arduino gives a 1 at that time I am actually giving current out now that said sourcing would mean logic high which is 3.3 .3 or 5 volts and sinking means logic low or 0 which is at 0 volts again 1 means high 0 means low and we will understand how to use this as part of our program so how do we use that in our Arduino program First, I have digital I.O. pins on my Arduino. Those pins need to be configured. So first I need to configure my pin that I would like to use. So let's say for example I want to use pin number 13 and I would like to use it as an output. I would do that using the function pin mode and this is how I would use it. That using pin mode I would like to configure pin number 13 and the type it should be output. Again this is just the configuration. Where would I do this? I would do this in my setup function if you remember that I would do this in my setup. Now if I want to use my pin number 13 then if it's output I would use the function digital write and this is how I would use it. If I want to write the value 1 that is the bit 1 or logic high I would say digital write pin number 13 value high suppose I would like to write a 0 then I would write digital write pin number 13 the value low just 
from a new user's perspective please understand that the W is capital this is how the function is defined so and the M is capital so please make sure that when you write the program you observe these rules and we will see that as part of our future programs so I hope that this was clear in terms of that first you need to configure your pin by using the function pin mode and then you if you want to use it in your program then you would use it using digital write now where would you do this you would do this as a part of your loop function or as a part of your user defined function which as I said would be the fourth phase of your Arduino program okay that said we've understood the basic concepts of digital outputs.